Hi, and welcome to DLC's video tutorials. Today we are going to cover the coordinate plane. So in the coordinate plane, uh, it's a two-dimensional uh, figure, and we've got two dimensions. We've got a number line going east and west, right and left, and that number line, we call it the x-axis. We also have another dimension, another number line, a vertical number line going nor north and south or up and down. That one we call it the y-axis. The middle where the two number lines intersect we call it the origin. Okay. Now, when these two number lines intersect, we have four sections. We call these sections quadrants. If we start here at this quadrant to the very right, we call that quadrant one. And in quadrant one, your x numbers and your y numbers are both positive. Now, we read the quadrants like a counterclockwise. So we go from here, then we go left. This is quadrant two. Let me. I might as well spell out quadrant. Quadrant, quad means four, so there's four of these. This is quadrant two. And quadrant two, your x, which is your first number, because x comes before y, is negative. And your y is positive, because it's above the origin. Okay, your next quadrant we call quadrant three. Your x, because you're to the left of the origin, is negative, just like a number line. Your numbers on the left are negative, left of the zero. Numbers below are also negative. So all your coordinates, we call them coordinates, all your coordinates in this quadrant, quadrant three, both numbers will be negative. Your x and y coordinate. Your final quadrant, we call it quadrant four. And I'm using Roman numerals. Here, your x is actually positive because your numbers are to the right of the zero or the origin. And your y is negative because it's below the origin, below zero. And these are the parts of the coordinate plane. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to write the coordinates of these points, the points that are plotted on the coordinate plane. Let's start with A. So we start at the origin, and A is to the right. So we first we go left or right, starting from the origin, and because A is to the right, we're going to go to the right. How many? How many spots? One, two, three, four, five, six. So our first coordinate will be six because we move six to the right. Right and left is your x coordinate. Then we moved up. How many? One, two, three four, five. So it looks like we have six, five. And I'm going to put these in parentheses. So six, five are the coordinates of point A. Point A is on quadrant one, and we know that quadrant one, both numbers are positive. Okay, now let's plot point B. 
on point B, we always start at the origin. We did not move right or left. We actually stayed in the middle. That means our first coordinate will be zero. Our Y coordinate, we moved up. Y is up or down. So we went up one, two, three, four. Okay, so therefore, our coordinates are zero, four. What about C? C, well, we start at the origin and then first we go right or left. We went left, one, two, three. Three, so that would be negative three. Then from here, we went up. One, two, three, four, five. Up is positive, so five up is positive five. So our coordinates are negative three, five. Okay, so for D, we start off at the origin. We went right, okay, we went right two spots. That's two, which is positive. But we didn't go anywhere. We didn't go up or down, which means that your y is zero. So look at B, point B, and look at point D. They both lie on the number lines. One lies on the y-axis, and the other lies on the x-axis. When that happens, you will have one coordinate that will be zero. Okay, what about point E? Okay, so we start in the middle. We go right how many? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we went right, which is positive, five. And then we went down. One, two, three, four, five. Down is negative. So your coordinates are five, negative five. Okay, last one point F. We start at the origin, we went left, so which is negative, one, two, three, four, so that's a negative four, and then we went down. How many? One, two, three. Down is also negative, and we know that any point in this quadrant, both numbers will be negative, both coordinates. Well, let's do the other way. Now, let's start from the coordinates. Let me fix this number. Sorry about that. Now let's start from the coordinates and build your points. So let me use my pen. And what I'll do is I'll make give some thickness. Okay. So our first point is 2, negative 1. So I'm going to start at the origin. My first coordinate, which tells me if I'm going to go right or left, is 2. So I'm going to go right because it's positive. That's 2. And then I'm going to go down 1 because my second coordinate tells me if I'm going to go up or down. So down 1. There's my coordinate. I mean, that's my first point. Sorry. So that is point M. Okay. My next one is negative 3, negative 3. So I'm going to start at the origin. I'm going to go left 3, 1, 2, 3. My first number is uh, x, which is right or left. My second number is y, which means up or down, and it's negative also. It's also negative 3. So 1, 2, 3. I go down 3, and there's my point. Okay, let's go ahead and speed this up, because I think we're getting better at this. Okay, 0 and 3.5. 0 means we stay at the origin. We don't go right or we don't go left, but we do go up 3.5. That's 1, 2, 3.5, which is halfway. So there's my next point. Okay. Oops. Went away. There you go. Okay, 5, negative 2. Start in the middle. Go right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then down 2. 1, 2. Negative 3, 0. Start in the middle. Negative 3. Go left. 1, 2, 3. And then 0, which means it's going to be on the coordinate plane. I mean, I'm sorry, on the x-axis. We don't go up. We don't go down. Okay, next one. Negative one half one. We start at zero. We go negative half, which is not one, but it's half. So you stay right there, and then you go up one. So our point is about right there. 
Now 0, negative 2. Start in the middle. You don't go right or you don't go left. It's 0. But we do go down 2. 1, 2, and there's our final point. And of course you would label these points because you have several points and you don't want someone to look at this and get confused. You always label your points. So that's the end of our lesson on the coordinate plane. We hope this helped. Good luck with your studies and have a good one. Bye-bye.